I really don't think this guy can break through. I'm gonna Evo Skelly's on the left. Oh. Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna be playing some Spell Cycle on Top Ladder. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I would like to start it with like a little bit of an apology, I guess, for yesterday's video. And I don't mean this as like an excuse or anything like this, but all in all, I did have quite a bad day yesterday and today. But one thing I did realize throughout your guys' comments and also throughout the stream because I did actually live stream today and I ended up rage quitting. Um, playing Clash Royale when you're in a bad mood is definitely not a good idea. And also taking out your anger on your opponents in a video isn't really the best way to get over being angry, I guess, or being upset with something. So I do apologize for that. Definitely doesn't like excuse anything, but just an explanation i guess and i'm gonna try to have a better mindset moving forward but you know sometimes clash show kind of gets to you and it definitely got to me yesterday and today i was getting way too mad at the game but i do apologize for that i probably shouldn't have even uploaded the video because i was so frustrated that day but stuff happens i guess mistakes happen and we move forward but in today's video we are playing spell cycle as i already said um luckily enough i am actually against elixir golem here this is probably going to be one of my best matchups possible i mean he has night witch i have poison he has elixir collector i have earthquake and then i have tornado for bats i even have a log for e golem and evolve skeletons and the skelly king i even have a valkyrie in here too i actually don't think i could have asked for an easier match <laughs> i'm just gonna go for a poison here and by the way let me know in the comments if you guys think spells do need a nerf because this has actually been working out decently well i'm actually up trophy since i've started this which is quite a surprise i expected to drop but I'm literally winning games just by going Evo Bomber at the bridge and spell cycling people's tower. Maybe it's more of a testament that Evo Bomber needs a nerf though. I'm not exactly sure because when they play well, Evo Bomber does not really connect to their tower. Although it is pretty good on defense. Alright, th this might be a bit of trouble, but I should be fine if I play it well. Just poison log on the Night Witch. Always good to get the Night Witch off the field. I'm going to Evo Bomber the bridge. It should be like three shots. Okay, that's two shots. I'll take it though. That's just still a ton of damage. I'll just tornado here on top of the bats. Go for the Valkyrie here. And they'll just skelly up top. Also log. I need to be careful though with the tornado maybe. E no, I'm not going to tornado. Actually, I think I do. I should have just went with the tornado right away and I wouldn't have even taken that tiny bit of damage that he got. But it's alright. Just going to go for the poison on the tower. I don't think he can punish me for it. I really don't think this guy can break through. I'm going to Evo Skellies on the left. Oh, not really the greatest Evo Skellies right there. Just going to go for the Valkyrie. All right, bomber, tornado. If I just go for a poison, I think I'm okay. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Poison, um, Skelly's up top. Okay, we're good. Earthquake again on the tower, and that should be good game. There's no really way that he can come back from here. I'm literally just putting spells on the tower. Okay, just gonna Valkyrie the bridge here, and that will be good game. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next match here against this Korean guy. Just gonna go for my bomber in the back. I don't know why, but... Most Koreans play with Graveyard. I don't know if you guys have, like, noticed the same, but at least on top ladder, most Korean people actually do use Graveyard. I even saw, like, a picture of the Korean local leaderboard, and number one, two, three, four, and five all were playing the exact same Graveyard deck, and it wasn't even the same person either. Okay, I can just Valkyrie here on top of that Cannon Cart. That's a really nice value Valkyrie. Quite weird that this guy does have a Cannon Cart. Nobody really uses Cannon Cart anymore. Okay, I can get a nice Poison here on that LP. Actually, maybe I'll go for the Evo Bomber instead because he doesn't know I have it yet. Dude, it's so funny going for the Earthquake on the tower, then going for a Poison and people being like so surprised. Okay, I'm just going to log here on top of that drill. Only taking one hit, which is pretty good. Hmm. Man, this is such a weird drill deck. Does this guy also have like a graveyard or like a mortar? No way his only win condition is a goblin drill. That'd be so weird to have the cannon cart in here then. I'll just Earthquake the tower again. <laughs> Man... I feel like I'm going to have to wash my hands or something after this video. Imagine just playing like a whole game of just spell cycle. My deck literally has four spells in it. Wait, is it four or is it five? Bomber, Valk. Oh, no, okay, yeah, four spells. I just had to make sure. I thought it was five for a second. Okay, I'm going to bomb tower here for that knight, and then I can go for the Valkyrie on top of that drill. P pretty nice drill log from him, I'm not going to lie. Oh, he has a NATO. Okay, I'm going to log. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> what was that log, dude? What is wrong with me? Man, I don't know what's been up with me recently, but I've been missing so many more spells than, like, usual. Okay, I'm gonna poison here on top of that cannon cart. Dude, 
I need to like get rid of the misspells allegations. Um, okay, I'm gonna Evo Skellies here on top of that knight, and then it can bomb tower for the cannon cart, and I should be okay. Oh wait, actually that Evo Knight's gonna be quite tanky. I'm gonna tornado that to my King Tower, please. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Pretty nice King Tower activation right there. Man, he might go in for another Goblin Drill, and he does. I'm gonna Valkyrie. Please catch it. Okay, nice. Oh no! Log. Bro, that was a really good NATO. I need to be careful because he keeps going drill NATO, and I I don't know why, but I just haven't been expecting it. I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna poison EQ. <laughs> Look at that right there. Just Earthquake and Poison on the Cannon Cart. It's already dead, and just like a quick little, like, 500 tower damage. Like, I don't know if you guys believe that needs a nerf, but personally, I think that needs a nerf. There's no way that I can just, that I should be able to just do that and get 500 tower damage. A Bomb Tower. I think it's more than 500, actually. It's more closer to 6. Wait, what? How, wait, how was that drill hitting my tower? I had a Valkyrie and a Bomb Tower, and it was in the front. Wait, how was that on the tower, huh? Wait, I'm gonna NATO Bomber this? I should be okay. Oh, Nice. Okay, wait, I, th I think I won. I think I won. I'm going to Valkyrie here. Okay, no, no, Skellies. And then the Log is going to NATO. Oh, let's go. We're good. And then just Earthquake Poison and GG's. Let's go. Very nice win right there. But I don't know how that Goblin Drill got onto my tower. And by the way, guys, please nerf Earthquake and Poison. We're in the next game here against this guy. Just going to go for the Bomber at the bridge first play. Because this guy doesn't have Cannoneer Tower, I could actually get a hit. All right, I'll just take that Earthquake there. Man, if this guy puts anything next to his tower... He's not safe from getting an Earthquake or a Poison on top of it. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of what you got to do with this deck, right? Spell anything next to the tower that you can, because otherwise you're not going to be able to get any damage. Okay, I don't want to Poison here, but like, I think I will just Poison. I mean, he's not doing anything, and I don't want to go Valkyrie in the back, because I know this guy's playing Golem Knight, which Evo Bomber, Skeleton King, Evo Bats, Baby Dragon, Fireball, and Tornado. So just have to be a little bit careful. Eh, I should be okay anyways. I'll just go for the Evo Bomber, the bridge. <laughs> Bro, okay, that's two shots? Three shots right there. Let's go. Okay, I'll Valkyrie here on top of the Skelly King, and then it can just go for the Skeletons as well. I just want to DPS down the Skelly King really quickly. Just so he... Okay, he goes for the Golem in the back. Um, What do I even do here, guys? I am down quite a bit of Elixir, and I don't have anything. I'm just going to Bomb Tower early, I guess. I think... If I play this right, I can walk out of it with a King Tower activation, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll poison early on the Night Witch just to use some Elixir. Alright, he does go for the Fireball. I was kind of expecting a Fireball, but I can Tornado that Golem to my King Tower. I'll Bomber first, and then I'll go for the Valkyrie on the Bomber, then Tornado that to my King Tower, and I should be okay. Wait, hold up. The Night Witch is still alive. I'm going to Skellies here. I thought that the Tower would target the Night Witch, but I guess not. I'm still fine with that, though. He's didn't really get that much damage honestly yeah i'm still ahead in damage even with all of that looking pretty good honestly i think damage is easier for me to come by than it is for him so having this lead is quite fine and then if he wants to continue attacking on this lane i could even spell down his golem from behind the tower i'm just gonna earthquake here i want to try to get an evil bomber lineup wait i have an idea i have an idea i have an idea he's gonna predict my evil bomber right because it's just free damage, so he's going to predict it. I'm going to Bomber and have my NATO ready. Okay, I'm going to Tornado this backwards now. Look at that. That should be two shots. Okay, one shot, but the Night Witch is dead. I'll Poison on defense. I'll take that anyways. I mean, a free shot on the tower and the Night Witch is dead and that Baby Dragon is going to die. I don't really have to worry about this push anymore. I'll just Valkyrie here. Oh, wait, he has Evo Bomber, though. I have to be careful of the Evo Bomber. I'm going to Skellies here. Block the Bomber, maybe. Oh, no, no, Bomber, Bomber, Bomber. Okay, wait, he doesn't have Evo Bomber. Oops, I'm going to log NATO that. Oh, no, 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 the Skelly King. Wait, that was actually really good. I'm going to go for the Valkyrie at the bridge here. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to poison that because he did the Baby Dragon. I have another Evo Bomber already, though. I think I just defend this Baby Dragon, and then they could go in with another Evo Bomber at the bridge. Valkyrie here. And then he's, he's, he's going to predict it again. I'll Bomb Tower the middle. All right, he tried to get it with Bats. Wait, that was a bad Bomber. I'm going to Evo Bomber the bridge now, and then I'm going to NATO that back last second. Tornado now. Okay, I still got one shot. That's pretty good. His tower is actually quite weak. I'm just going to go for Evo Skellies again on the Night Witch, then Valkyrie on top of the Baby Dragon, and I should be all right. Wait. <laughs> he missed the Fireball. I'm going to Poison. Let's go. Him missing that Fireball is actually super good for me. I'm going to Tornado everything to the Bomb Tower, and then I might need a Skellies. No, I don't. I'm good. His tower is on 1200, right? Could I, wait, could I Spell Cycle that? I think I could. Wait, guys, can I spell cycle 1157 HP? Okay, Earthquake, Bomber the back just to be safe. 
Wait, I actually think I can spell cycle this. Log. Poison. Skellies. Earthquake again. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Evo Bomber. Why not? And Tornado. GG's. <laughs> Bro, what is that? That is actually just not fair at all. <laughs> that actually needs a nerf, dude. I'm not even kidding. That is so broken. We're in the next match here against Nikoko. Okay, Nikoko usually plays with Bridge Spam, actually. Bridge Spam should be a good matchup for me. Just going to go for the Bomber in the back here. Try to get to my Evolved Bomber. By the way, guys, I don't exactly recommend trying this strategy on ladder unless you're trying to have fun because I don't actually like go into these matches thinking I'm going to win them all. I'll just Tornado here. I'm just trying to have fun and test this out and honestly just prove a point that Poison and Earthquake do need tower damage nerfs. Doesn't look like a Bridge Spam deck anymore. It actually looks like Goblin Giant Sparky, but nobody's really playing Sparky this season. Oh, speak too soon. Um, <laughs> okay then. I guess I started speaking a little bit too soon. I don't know why he's playing Sparky in a season that's full of Evolved Zap and Goblin Drill. I'm just gonna Bomb Tower. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I finger slipped my Bomb Tower. I might be dead here, actually. I don't think I can defend this. Dude, that was such a bad finger slip. I'm gonna Skellies here. Evo Bomber should line up with the Sparky. Okay, nice. I'm going to Valkyrie here on defense, and I should be okay, maybe. All right, I'll Tornado that Goblin Giant to my King Tower. I should get a King Tower activation, but I'm down a lot of damage. Well, I think you guys might call me crazy, but I think I can win this as long as I don't make any more mistakes. If I play perfectly from here, I think I can win from just spell cycling his tower, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to have to play amazing defense, but I think with good spell cycle, I win this game. It's not going to be easy on defense, though, if he plays well. Okay, I'm going to take that poison, though. It's definitely going to make it easier if he gives me free spell value on the tower. I will say that. I'll bomb right here for the knight. Okay. He does go for the sparky in the back. I might have to take an earthquake on it, but I think that would be a bad play. I think I'll just cycle my log. Mm, I'll bomb tower first. He doesn't have fireball on this deck. He only has evo zap and rage. Doesn't have evo zap yet either, so I should be all right on defense for now. Just going to log here on top of everything. I think I could Skellies and then Valkyrie too. Oh wait, he Mother Witches. That was a good Mother Witch. I have to Earthquake and then Valkyrie. And NATO, I want to pull everything in to kill the Sparky. Okay, perfect. Not bad, not bad. He's probably just going to go for it. Oh, he has Dark Prince. All right. Wait, has he already played Dark Prince? I swear he hasn't used that yet. If he has, I'm drunk. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go for the Log here. Evil Knight will be hard to deal with. I'll Poison. I might have to sacrifice my Bomb Tower. Yeah, my Bomb Tower is going to die here, but it's not the end of the world. Hold up, guys. He is going to Goblin Giant, right? He's going to Goblin Giant on the side, so I'm going to Evo Bomber predict it. Oh, no. He put it far back. That was well played. I'll just cycle my Earthquake, then Bomb Tower again. I'm actually slowly catching up in damage. I'm only behind by, like, 450 right now. Okay, going to Poison on top of the Sparky. Skeletons here, too. And then Valkyrie. Oh, okay, we're good. Really good defense there. Probably the best defense I've done all game. The King Tower activated is helping out a lot right now, too. I'm going to Bomb Tower. I'm going to Earthquake 2. Earthquake first. Just because I can get another Earthquake back quicker. Okay, he's actually deciding to go Goblin Giant opposite lane of the Sparky. That's pretty smart by him, honestly. Because he's just going to make a dual lane push. And dual lane push is going to be much harder to stop than everything in one. Because if everything's in one lane, I just get a lot of spell value. A poison here. Then I can go for the Skellies and Valkyrie on top of the Sparky. Wait, what? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to NATO. I don't know why the Sparky shot the Valkyrie. I'm going to log this back here. And I think I'll be okay. Uh, okay, that was the craziest voice crack of my life. Please, nobody clip that. <laughs> that was the worst voice crack of all time. I'll bomb tower here in the middle. See what he wants to do. I'm going to Evo Bomber line up with the Evo Knight, because I know he's going to Evo Knight on the right. Yep, I'm going to Bomber here. That should line up and kill it. I'm going to go for the Valkyrie too. Going to go for the Evo Skellies. Now he has no way to kill the Evo Skellies, because he had to double spell on my Evo Bomber. Perfect. I bomb tower here again, just for the Goblin Giant. And I think I can get some spells off again. The reason, by the way, okay, wait, I can Earthquake Poison that. By the way, the reason I'm going with Earthquake every time and not just Poison is because Poison is really my only way to kill the minions since Earthquake doesn't damage the air. So cycling Earthquake on the tower isn't only cheaper, but it's also safer in this matchup. I'm not going to Poison that. I'll save Poison again. I'll just Earthquake on top of the Sparky. Okay, I'm not going to Poison those minions because I want to Poison the Mother Witch here. He's going to Goblin Giant again opposite lane. Oh, no. I think I might be dead here, guys. Uh, Valkyrie. I'm going to need to tornado this, bro. Please, please, please. Bomb tower, get down. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, Skelly's here. Bro, please, 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 please. Bomber. All right, we're good. I'm going to Valkyrie on top of the Goblin Giant. Bro, please. Oh, my God. 
Hold up. I need the tornado this backwards and hit the tower for the damage. I'm going to bomb tower here. Oh my god, no way. I'm going to log here. I, I won. I won. I won. I won. Okay, I'm going to go for the evil bomber. Valkyrie. Oh, wait. No, I haven't won yet. I haven't won yet. Please. I, okay, it's good. It's good. It's good. Let's go. Dude, that was actually really good defense at the end there. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. By the way, just one last thing I wanted to add on here. If you guys are having a bad day, please, please, please don't take it on anybody else or anything else. Bye.